Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I am a hot mess. I literally just woke up. But um, this morning, I'm going to take you guys along with me. We're going to go do a quick upper body um, band only workout. So um, for the ones that don't really have ideas of how they should work out or what they should work out with when you want to do an upper body, I'll give you some ideas just with bands only, which is pretty simple. You don't have to go and get all these weights and stuff like that. This is kind of when you're working at home. Obviously, if you go to the gym, you know, you're going to have all these weights provided for you. So I'm going to bring Aurora along and um, we will just go ahead and do that. So just follow me along for this morning's journey. Um, as well as I also had um, family over all weekend, so I'm sorry that I didn't get to vlog. But um, I was thinking if I was going to vlog you know but the thing is we just really wanted to spend some family time me and my husband and stuff like that so I didn't pull out the camera at all but it was fun we went to like the flying squirrel pretty much it's like this jump time biggest trampoline you know here in Washington type of thing <laughs> it was fun the kids had fun um, we took Aurora obviously she's only nine months old so technically we didn't even have to pay for her we just had like this parent pass is what it's called is we, we just could you know, jump with her for a couple minutes at a time and all this kind of stuff. So it was, it was fun though. She had a good time. Um, hi, Bebe. Say good morning. Here she is this morning. Good morning. <laughs> I love you. So yeah. So yeah, that's that. That was some. That was fun. We um, yesterday we just watched football all day. Of course, Sunday football. Go Saints. Um, trying to think what else we did this weekend. Pretty much just hung out. It was super super fast, you know. But um, yeah. This morning I'm gonna go ahead and go work out and make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss any more of these videos. And then.
Alrighty, guys, so here we go. We're going to first begin with doing a warm up, um, just kind of incline, walking, stretching. And I do this for about two minutes. And after that, that's when I go ahead and up the treadmill. I lower it down so it's not so inclined, but still has a little bit of incline. And I move it up to 7.4 for the speed to be exact. And I run for, I sprint for about 30 to 45 seconds. Um, this day I did 30 and then 30 off. 30 on, 30 off is what I did. So go ahead and get your water. BCAAs is what I had. And turn on some great music. Alright guys, so we're going to be starting with the bands here. This is a medium strength band. So I got pretty warm so I had to take off my jacket there. But um, so as I'm showing you guys here, I put it onto my heart kind of chest area and this is working out the tricep. It really does burn. I'll let you guys know that right now. My face totally shows it all. <laughs> but for each side I do 15 times. And as you guys will know, I will be doing each workout four times for 15 reps. Alright guys, on to the next workout here. So this is working out your center of your back as well as your triceps. So I'm kind of just showing different angles, pretty much you're just kind of pulling and every time you pull you really just want to flex your center of your back. And again, I am doing 15 reps. On to the next, so we're going to be using a long medium sized band on this one. I'm just showing you guys there that you're going to want to sit on the band onto a chair or a couch or a bench, whatever you prefer. And this is going to be obviously working your upper shoulders and a little bit of your triceps as well. Because the resistance is super awesome. This is what's really going to define you, make you nice and toned. Now what we're going to be doing here, we're still using the exact same band. And this is also working out the exact same areas, the upper shoulders, a little bit of the upper back, and your triceps as well. So you're just going to pretty much pull it up, count for a second, and pull back down. I'm pointing here that if you stand wider, the more resistance you're going to be using. The more inner your legs are, closer together, I mean, then the, the easier it's going to be for you.
Aurora and her cute self. I can't help but record her. <laughs> She's such a good baby. So what we're going to be doing here is our bicep. This is pretty much just going to be doing curls with the exact same medium resistant band. And again, you are doing 15 reps. It's such a good workout. It's such a burner. Um, and actually, I feel it a little bit in my chest as I'm flexing upward. I go so here we're moving back to the smaller medium size resistant band and this is also working our mid traps and um, our upper back as well a little bit of your tricep so I'm just showing you guys from the back angle here that you just kind of want to pull down and flex it's kind of like you're doing the barbell at the gym and then here we are hooking this up to the machine there. Not hooking it up, but just putting it around it. And you're working your mid middle of your back as well. Your What you would call your little chicken wings. <laughs> Such a great workout. I love it. And then here what we're doing is going to get down in a kneeling position there. And we'll be working our side back super beneficial this is what's really going to trim down your waist by working out that muscle group there and then you'll kind of feel it in your triceps as well after all these reps so the lighting here, so the lighting here is kind of bad but um i wanted to give you guys a little tour of aurora's room this is obviously you know rv version we um for the ones that don't follow or have seen my other videos we live full-time in an rv um, travel trailer is what you call it um, so we have our bedroom you know living room kitchen <laughs> all in one and then a bathroom and then we have the garage technically which is what we use when we had our motorcycles um, you know my husband uses kind of as his like little workshop area but now we transformed it into our daughter's room and I think I did a pretty good job from it being a garage look into her room so let me give you guys a little tour of that as you guys walk in here this is kind of from the bathroom into her room here you know I got this carpet um, this is probably like my favorite thing in this room it's like the cutest thing but I got this really nice carpet off Amazon it's ginormous it fills the whole room so so yeah I got this door stop because um, this door tends to kind of move so that's a pretty cute monkey she loves that thing and on to the left here we just kind of have our laundry basket I have hers and then ours um we have the diaper genie here let me turn some more lights on here okay so here we have the diaper genie um love this thing I feel like it comes in handy but now that she's getting a little bit older her diapers are just starting to fill up or it's starting to fill up a lot faster we have the diaper genie in here this is probably the coolest thing my mom when I was pregnant she gave this for a gift for us because she knows obviously we're limited on space you know babies take up a lot of space apparently um I don't think that's true I think a baby doesn't need a lot of things to live <laughs> that's just my personal opinion but so um this cool gadget here, not gonna lie, obviously she needs stuff for her clothes, she needs, you know, something to bathe in, but, um, so, this thing has storage, you know, three shelves, as you see here, two shelves, so under here we have just her diapers, she has a ton of shoes back there, her bath stuff, her blankets, and then here, it looks like a mess, but I promise you it's organized from pants, shirts, socks, jackets in the back, nice shirts in the back, pajamas and in the back and all that kind of stuff so and then it has this nice little organization um, I have lotion I have her little pigtails here I have washcloths this is just kind of like her um, you know brushes medicine stuff um, stuff like that 
and then this I have hand sanitizer, I have sanitized wipes. So this is pretty much a changing table here. Okay, the coolest thing is, you guys ready? It is also a bathtub. So it makes it super, super nice, but um, obviously we have to drain the water. Um, and so when she was little, it was a little bit easier. Now that she's starting to splash and play and all this kind of stuff, she, I pretty much, you could take this out. You could take it out and um, I put it in our shower and she just bathes in the shower with this thing though so this thing is freaking awesome when she was little I put like you know a little thing in there for her so she wouldn't slide around and this was perfect so it's called baby Diego by the way you guys that's what it's called I did some research and I found it and it works really great for me so if you guys are limited on space make sure you just go check out Amazon I think is where my mom got it um, Fortunately, it didn't come in a lot of colors. I think it came in like a pink or like a blue or something like I can't remember what color. And then yellow, which obviously I got yellow for neutral um, for future babies as well. So, yeah. And then here is her mini crib. So this is super nice for obviously limited space as well. Her mini crib, um, I purchased... I'm trying to think where... Where did I purchase this thing? I will leave a link below. <laughs> I'm having like a brain fart right now. So, um, I have this blanket here just for the light. Um, obviously we have a heater for her in the winter time here that kind of just goes on and off. Just keep her nice and warm. Just set to a certain temperature there. I keep it there because the light, she loves to sleep in the dark. So, um, yeah. Her mini crib is super nice. It's portable. It folds in half. It could fold long ways. It could fold in half ways. It's pretty cool. And then I had just have our diaper bag there as well as her little high chair. Um, we keep her shoes kind of in that area all organized. But, um, but yeah. There's Faith Can Move Mountains. We have an A for Aurora. She has this little bunny. Super, super cute. It's like a pillow, but she doesn't use pillows yet, so I put it up there. I have just kind of some lotion wipes obviously for when I change her and some bag balm when she does get a rash and then this one says every good and perfect gift comes from above James 117 which is nice that's cute there and then here we just have our dressers so pretty much like mine my husband's, um, I have my laundry stuff on that one, and then uh, these are all Aurora's books. Um, I keep a candle back here, sometimes I do light it up just to make it smell good. And then light just in case somebody needs. <sighs> She's making a mess over there. And then I just have the stroller behind the door here. And up there, there's my husband's work clothes. So, I'll kind of tell you how this room works here. So, pretty much, this up, this is a bed. This is like one ginormous queen or king size bed I don't even know it's huge and it moves up and down so that's actually what we had my in-law sleep in this last weekend I pretty much transformed this room which I should have recorded <laughs> it would have been pretty awesome what are you doing let me I'll show you guys what she's doing she's all of a sudden playing with a bottle of wine <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing <laughs> so anyways um yeah, so that's a big ginormous bed. So these are also individual twin beds on each side. So you can sleep a lot of people in here if you guys think about it. Um, uh, you pretty much unhook them. They fold down. These actually go into couches as well if you want to, you know, have couches. It comes, it had a table in the center. Um, we removed that. So, so yeah, this is kind of Aurora's little room here. Super cute. I, I love how it turned out. Um, she loves it as well. So. And that rug. That rug is to die for. Oh my god, the design. 